Good morning. It is motherfucking early in here in California. The reason why I decided to come on is because I had a request to do a very old style of videos that used to be called topic discussions and they would be about tarot and they have a, you know, a general topic. So welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, Libras, I do want you to excuse me just for a bit because my throat is still scratched from COVID and I'm overcoming a fever still. So today will be a total of four videos. I'm very, very excited about it because those for me are large upload days and we will do birthdays in the future morning videos as we rise. So this morning is going to be a topic discussion about twin flame in the new earth. It's gonna be a very generalized video. You can just sit and watch for entertainment. It doesn't have to be something that's so serious. Um, and we're just gonna have fun with each other for the first one. So let's get into the discussion, okay? And please feel free to use the comments today to let your thoughts soar. This is for a new person that's undergoing changes. I did write a couple things here, 717 on my notes. You could be seeing 11 a lot or 222. I also have 111 written there. Thank you, spirit and angels, for the first card. And also to all of our birthday celebrants this day today, which is October 6th. Happy birthday, sweethearts. You will be announced in the coming videos. And if you forgot to give me your birthday for today, please do so, okay? Bottom of the deck is an opportunity. It's so funny because I was watching another channel called Fascinate Yourself. And it's um it's AI generated, but it's it's still good. And they were saying the same thing. So something is in line here today, even with another reader. So connecting us to another realm and opportunities, the first card that shows up. Kindly, we look at this card and say, okay, well, if I don't have an opportunity, this could be in pentacles. This could be in my finances coming up or it's an opportunity to move. For some of us also, it's an opportunity to get out there, meet new people if we're single. And if you have somebody that you're very close to, it's an opportunity to uh, bring things back together, bring things into focus. Opportunity is at the bottom of the deck. That's all, always the overlying for me as a reader. It's the overlying energy. Let me just move things around here for a second. Gotta put that back. Okay, your three cards are already here. I don't know what they are in the topic discussion. I have no idea. And so we're gonna go with these general feelings. They can be you or your SP, your special partner. And let's get into it. Freedom. Okay, maybe there's a question of freedom coming up. How free are you? Especially in the twin flame relationship or divine soul connection relationship. Many of you could be feeling happier. The messages that you're getting, very joyful, jovial, <laughs> very mindful. <laughs> and so I think here that with freedom, there's something left to express. Okay. It could be art. It could be something that you write each and every day. You could be very connected to the inner realms. Maybe even guides are speaking to you each day too as a single. We have to stay connected to that world too. It's very important. Um, the next one is flexibility for sure. Faux show. Sure. We got flexibility here in a beautiful tarot card. This looks like maybe something your grandma would have given you as a Hallmark card as a child, right? It's like, don't forget to brush your teeth at the end of the night and then a beautiful animal at the end. But it says with this tiger and the tiger's meagerly awaiting pouncing through those woods or that jungle, it's asking you to be flexible and flow with the times. Our new earth is changing so quickly. Economically, a new president coming in as well. So I think this is just showing me that you're flowing with the times. It's kind of slow is what I'm getting, like Knight of Pentacles feeling. We have solitude with the hermit. Yeah, for sure. Last card here in the topic discussion is we are coming out of a time perhaps of isolating for a very long time. Many of us singles do that. If you're in another part of the collective too, the hermit card is just saying you went in recently and had your enlightening moments. Okay, this is definitely the hermit card. So, excuse me here, we're gonna do a little bit of <clears throat> clarification, excuse me, oh my goodness, for that. And let's see what the hermit card has been revealing. Please and thank you, queen of swords. You may have some, said something very strong in the last few days, or it's been vehemently loud or you may have even argued with someone in the Queen of Swords. Talks about Libra energy in the blue dress. Even if you look at the card very closely, it has Libra out loud in it, um, your sign, if you're watching as a Libran. 
the sword is mental energy. The bird visiting her is messages, okay? Maybe about communication. Um, discipline parts of you, very much boundary line. People crossing your boundaries or attempting to do so. I think what's going on here is it's very Libra, even in the hermit phase for you. Lots of dynamics where you're sticking to your guns. And I've heard it in the comments. I've seen many of you say, well, how do I change and get out of the hermit if I have so many boundaries? We're going to talk about that in this reading. Okay, we're going we're gonna to touch on this energy exactly. Uh, what's coming up? Let's do the reading for what's coming up. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So, so far, a lot of pages. Wheel of Fortune, something changes. Okay, it can involve a lot of communication or learning. Page of Pentacles is about learning. We learn to communicate our destiny and our views, especially too if you're single, you can identify these pages very quickly in your life. They're very positive cards about learning and also delivering a message. You might be the recipient, Libra, okay, of this imminent change or somebody's taking actions toward you in the Wheel of Fortune. I think that's more so what it is, the latter that I said, because... As we do your reading, we understand you've recently learned a few kernel things in your solar return. Maybe relationships with people that fell by the wayside. Uh, they no longer contribute to the person you're becoming. Also, if your other signs in came here, your relationship to Libra, perhaps you're cross-watching in a sense, okay? So there's a, a lot of new things being picked up in this environment. Page of Pentacles is fresh. That's what it's always been. Got the King of Swords too. Two people not communicating very well. They're not doing a good job of it. This would be a no communication reading for many, many people when you see the King of Swords and they don't talk to each other, basically, okay? With sympathies and if you take your empathic self and you put yourself in this situation, there has to be a reason why these two show up for the morning today. So it could be a question of their freedom or their flexibilities, what they're willing to sacrifice as people, okay? Are they willing to sacrifice their Xbox time? <laughs> Are they willing to sacrifice other things too, which is giving more time to one another perhaps? So it brings in the question of generosity. I don't see any um, inflections yet of your ex. I don't see anything from the past. I think this is a very current situation for many of you that have come to the channel this morning. Okay, so what's next is a King of Swords moment. Also, we have judgment flipping just now with Scorpio. Archangel Raphael is in this photo. He's actually in the tarot card. He's in the very, very back with a trumpet. And he's sounding off on the decision and the call that's been made from the heavens. These people are gathering below because they not only agree with the decision, but it's also finite. And there is a, there is a peace that comes to these two people individually, the king and queen of swords. Uh, what else comes, or what, what else is a part of the story? Two of pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is talking about feeling mixed up or somebody is juggling their time. <laughs> Excuse me. Somebody is juggling their time or it's, you know, something's not resonant here. Something's not agreeing. Two of Pentacles is mixed up emotions, of course. I think, too, it's a question of uncertainty and also there's unsureties. We want to clear that in a reading because we do know we have an evidence of change in the topic discussion. Some of you have told me it's even your favorite tarot card, the Wheel of Fortune. It's associated to fixed signs of Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So if you know people like that, they might be seeing your point of view right now a little bit clearer. You know, the relationships with the fixed signs could definitely be on point. They could be very understanding, even if it's divided in their chart, you know, because they have the morals of that particular card and they abide by the fixed sign energy in their persona. So let's see here a little bit. Show me the queen of swords of argument. Okay, looking for teamwork, looking for understanding. It's also a work card when grounded. The Libra wants new pursuits. They also feel invigorated that there could be understanding offered. That's that opportunity card you saw in the beginning with Oracle. The opportunity to stretch their limbs uh, perhaps it's a financial thing too. It can be that this Libra wants more opportunities where they could rise, make more money. Um, it's showing that there's collaborators as well. So let's see what that is. Is that love or work? We have an Aries. Okay, so new opportunities, period, coming from the Libra. Just new beginnings. 
for some of you, it's going to be new friendships. For some of you, it's new connections and networking. And it's also going to be a part of your job. So you will see this in different cubbies and areas of your life, which is really cool because seeing Aries with Libra and they're, you know, opposite on the same axis means that you're doing both the me and the we. You're, you have a good balance of that. What's a, what about love? Like, let's go to love here. Page of Cups, there could be apologies offered, okay, after maybe past a little bit here, inferences and arguments and things that didn't agree. We have a Page of Cups, so it's an apology. Straightforward, right out of the deck, is an apology, a sincerity. I think the, the King and Queen of Swords need to do this. It's almost like this is the assignment before anything can change. The King of Swords is a person of integrity. This is usually the person more with the boundaries, okay? Um, what happened here? Why is the apology important? Seven of Swords, it's sideways on the desk. Seven of Swords means there's trickery or deception or something is not very clear. You know, this person is spying in the Seven of Swords because uh, they have a means that they need to get information there's lacking information or this person is researching, right? Sometimes not done in the best way because it's the seven of swords. So what's to get honest here is, is what is the new journey about? What's the goal here for everybody? Also, I see that it could involve an apology, okay? There's a reason why we're seeing this apologetic, sincere card, maybe even inner child work needs to be done because it's an inner child card. Okay, show me the past cards for the Seven of Swords. Let's see that. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so there were happier times. There were more fruitful times for this particular person. I also see here that it's it's a time of welcoming abundance coming up. I feel like that was the goal in the past, maybe even here to start a family or meet somebody. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is that. We have an Ace of Wands, King of Wands. Oh, I saw him in the pre-shuffle too. Just, that's very interesting. The King of Wands is about being persistent in what you want. Where's the focus, okay? Uh, in this reading, I definitely see a lot of Libra energy. I see a lot of air sign energy and fixed signs, okay? But at the end, if you notice, it's all fire. There's too many fire cards, which this is the solution. It's about including more fire in your life, passion, vigor, attacking things, Page of Wands also being very inspired because when a Page of Wands comes out, the party comes out with the Page of Wands. So there needs to be more of this. Perhaps even here, you know, as I read for you, it's even humor. Humor is a great medicine to all things, I feel. And the King of Wands, a persistent drive also to fix whatever has been released recently or we're starting new as the King of Wands, which most energetic person next to the Queen. Okay, she didn't come out, but he did. And sometimes he's more important to see in a reading because he has a little bit more drive and passion. We have temperance, so balancing out in the near future. Two cards usually are for me and the star, Aquarius. There's innovative solutions. I do believe that there's critical thinking that's brought into this situation. It might be even solving a question of finances for this person or it might be bringing idea bubbles to a person who originally had clear ideas in the past if it's love i think there's there's a lot of new friendships too like surprising things that are coming into the twin flame collective this is showing me a separation with the king and queen of swords but there's lots of opportunities here to go explore individuality okay and then we have an emperor at the bottom of the deck. Who, who is this emperor in the readings lately? Who is the Aries energy? Please and thank you. Perhaps these are the same people. King of Wands, Emperor, the Four of Pentacles. This person is holding on to securities. Divine Masculine is maybe even trying to connect tele, uh, telepathically to the loved one of his life or who he's thinking of. Because this is Capricorn. It's very hardworking working to a means to an end at the end of the day. He has feelings of the Four of Pentacles now. Can I ask why is that? Okay, there's two cards. One popped out there. High Priestess following his gut and the moon, which is a mystery. I think this person is looking for... 
somebody who is the love of his life. You know, he feels it in his soul. The reason why I'm using he here is because generally the emperor is a father and he's also the father of the tarot. He's looking for the love of his life and he can feel it coming too, okay? Very, very connected to whoever this divine feminine is coming in. Emperor to the high priestess, what's that overall feeling? Six of pentacles, yesterday's beginning card. It's a beautiful six of pentacles. I'm gonna put it over here. So he wants to be generous of spirit coming up very soon. We are gonna dissect this reading in a small tiny bonus here in a second. I just wanna grab new cards and then we'll be back for topic discussion number two.